Hey guys, it's Rin here. Today we are going to be ranking every English opening of the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Keep in mind I'm recording this in June, so at the moment there isn't an English opening for Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush just yet. So I'm going to be ranking the openings from Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Month. So I'm going to be ranking the openings from Yu-Gi-Oh! DM to Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens. Maybe when the opening for Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush comes out, I will update the ranking, but anyways, we are sticking with these for now. Also, I have to mention to you guys, I am not ranking the openings based on how they look or how they were animated. I mean, let's be honest, the amount of bad CGI that's in some of the openings might not help their case. Oh my god! What is that?! I'm going to be ranking the openings based on the music and how much I've enjoyed the music. If you guys want to check out the tier list, it will be in the description down below. Alright, it's time to talk about the different tiers. First one at the top is the Understood the Assignment tier. Basically, this is where I put the openings that I've enjoyed the most, aka the best of the best openings that are just unskippable for me. The next one is the Great Job tier. These are basically the openings that exceeded my expectations, not as much as the first one, but still, I would consider it a great opening that I'd frequently listen to from time to time. Next is the good enough tier. Basically, it means I think the opening is fairly enjoyable, and I might listen to it sometimes if I watch the show. Next is the meh tier. Meaning the opening was, well, meh. Didn't enjoy it as much as I hoped, but still, it isn't bad, but I think I'll pass listening to it. Next one is the trash tier. Basically, it's a bad opening, and I won't listen to it. Unless I have to. Then I might. Last but not least, the Make It Stop tier. An opening that is just so bad, I wouldn't wish my greatest enemy to hear this dumpster fire. Alright, with that out of the way, let's start ranking the openings! I don't know how to explain this, but there's this certain factor in this opening that makes it so nostalgic. I'm not an OG fan of Yu-Gi-Oh, but when I listen to this opening, I feel like I'm an OG fan. Like I've seen this 20 years ago! I feel like this opening can never, ever age like milk. It's always gonna age like fine wine. wine the same as I Anyways, what I enjoyed about this opening. Pretty much everything. I have no complaints about this opening. I'm glad they included elements of the ancient Egyptian vibe in the intro so it links up with the story. Also, I really like the arrangement they did with the brass instruments. Sadly, the upcoming openings don't use the brass instruments anymore, and it'll take like two decades until they come back. As for the melody, the melody of the opening is just so memorable. Dun, 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 dun. It really lives in my head rent free sometimes. And of course, we can't forget about the iconic line. It's time to do, 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 do. Overall, I think it's one of the best openings in the series. Top tier. Totally. This opening is similar to the first one, but they've rearranged some parts of the score. However, they still leave important things that made the song iconic and memorable in the first place. Like, imagine if they changed the opening so much they left out It's Time to Duel. Then, yeah, it wouldn't be so great. Things I enjoyed about this opening... I enjoyed the different approach they took with the brass. <laughs> They also added choir sounds, which was a very good and interesting choice. And they wouldn't do this again until like two decades later, like with the brass. I don't know what's up with the brass and the choir, why do they hate them so much? Trash. They also made the start of the opening more snappy so you can get super hyped for the episode. The only complaints I have about this opening is that the snappiness of the phrase, it's time to duel is gone, and it's replaced with a drum roll. Personally, I prefer if they kept it since it's one of the most iconic lines in the series, and you just need that snappiness to get it in your mind and be excited for the episode. But replacing that with the drum roll, 
it doesn't create the same effect in my opinion. Another thing is when watching the show, I found myself feeling like the opening was getting way too long, even though both versions are like the same length. This one for some reason felt longer, but overall, I really love this opening. I'm putting it at the top as well. I don't love it as much as the first one, but still, top tier. Okay, am I the only one who thinks this opening sounds similar to Orin High School Host Club? Someone needs to make a mashup of those two songs, I swear to god. Anyways, this is the first Yu-Gi-Oh song that includes vocals with cheesy lyrics, and this would be the start of a trend for the next couple of years. This opening is a good start to the trend. The rock sound that they use for the opening really encapsulates the energy of Jaden and the season. Also, the momentum and the energy of the song is consistent, and I found myself always being hyped when listening to the song. Like, even if there's a cliffhanger in the show, but I have to watch the opening to see what happens next, I'll still listen to the opening because it doesn't ruin the momentum for me. Another thing is the lyrics. They are so memorable and addicting, especially the chorus. For the past few days after listening to that chorus, I'd sing Game on, get your game on to myself without realizing it. <laughs> also, that guitar solo slayed. Slay! We don't really get guitar solos in an opening mid-song, so that surprised me, but, but in a good way. I think as time passes by, I'm gonna like this song more and more. So yeah, I really enjoyed this opening, but would I put it above the original series? No, so I'll put it in the great job tier, but I think it is a very close top tier. You know what? I changed my mind. Top tier. Top tier! Okay, let's just get it over with. Top tier. There is a reason why I said the original opening is one of the best openings. That's because Hyperdrive is the best opening of the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Just a freaking masterpiece, man! Also, Cass, the guy who sings this opening has an amazing voice! When I breathe out, I try to release the feelings I have for you. I think no one can show this song's full potential without Cass singing it. He was definitely the best choice to sing this song, and I can't imagine anybody else taking his place. Yeah, forget about that. What else do I like about the song besides Cass's vocals? A lot more things. Where do I even start? The production! French Kiss! Like, we hear all the jokes about 5Ds being the card games on motorcycles spin-off, but this song, and yes, I'm probably gonna sound pretty silly, encapsulates the feeling of riding a motorcycle pretty well. The first verse starts with an uplifting and energetic tone that really gets you hyped, but when it's time for the chorus, the tone switches from the upbeat energy to a more calm and refreshing tone. And the switch is done in a way that feels natural, and it doesn't feel out of place from the song. You bet when I heard this switch, my face was like Pikachu's. It's so good! That's what she said. These sections demonstrate the feelings I've been talking about. When riding a motorcycle, there's this thrill, this energy you feel as shown in the first verse. But you also get this refreshing feeling by, well, feeling the wind and looking at the atmosphere, which the chorus tries to tell us. Even the lyrics mention this as well. Also, there's just so much emotion going in the song, especially the chorus. Like, if I tried to sing that chorus, it might look like I'm doing this musical theater stunt. I can hear you breathing, I can see you coming. And to make things better, they added string instruments, I don't know if it's the violin, the viola, the cello, but anyways, string instruments to build up the final chorus with the lyrics, See the sun arising, which is an example of word painting. Then they brought back the percussion, which returns the energy of the opening and ending the song very well. <sighs> And I'm not done. 
I gotta talk about what I didn't like about this opening. First of all, we have to talk about the vocals. Yes, like I said before, Cass has good vocals, but sometimes the instrumentals are loud and it overshadows him. So I couldn't really hear him that well in some sections of the song, which sucks because Cass sounds really good. Why did they have to make him more quiet? Also, the late start to the melody threw me off, but I'm getting used to it. But I'm sure if you listen to the song for the first time, it might throw you off too, so yeah. Overall, Hyperdrive, best opening, period. Like, I don't think any other opening is as good as Hyperdrive. Sorry, original opening. It might change depending on what Go Rush decides to do, or any future spin-offs of Yu-Gi-Oh! But for now, I will say it is the best opening I have ever ever heard. Like, this song makes me want to watch 5Ds. I haven't watched 5Ds yet, so don't spoil me, guys. It's like the same thing that happened to me with Miraculous Ladybug. Like, that opening slapped, so because of that, I decided to watch it, but I eventually quit on watching it because, yeah, the story has gone to shit. I don't want to watch it anymore. Hopefully, 5Ds does not do that to me if I decide to watch it. So yeah, there's nothing more I can say besides I can't wait to do the acapella of this song in like three years time. I can't wait, so stay tuned guys, the acapella of Hyperdrive is coming in three years. Okay, when I listened to this song, at first I did not like it, but I thought I might be a little too harsh with this song, since the last opening was, of course, Hyperdrive. Maybe the bar was set a little too high, so I gave the song another chance. No pun intended. So I started to listen to the song for the course of two months. Now, do I like this song? No. Ooh. After two months of listening to this song, I was not vibing with it, and I still thought to myself, Maybe I'm judging this song too harshly. So I went to YouTube and saw the videos of people ranking this opening, and they ranked this opening pretty low. Something about it makes my ear holes just sort of tighten up. Help me! It's not good. It is just... It, it's just not good. So yeah, there is something about this opening that just doesn't work for people. I'll try my best to explain why it doesn't work for me. First of all, the vocals. I don't think the person singing this is a bad singer, but there are some things I will criticize. First of all, the style of his voice is whiny. One example is when he sings Today. Take a chance today. He sings Today, not Today. 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 I know it might be a stylistic choice, and it can work like Nymphology. But in my opinion, I don't think the style suits the instrumentals for Take a Chance. Next up is the energy or the tone. I'm not sure if his vocal abilities or the production is the reason why I'm saying this, but I just think the effect they gave his voice made him sound robotic and dead. Like the lyrics say, spread my wings, take off, it's time to fly. But the way it sounds in the song is just dead. Like, I don't even think they believe in the message of the song, if it sounds like that. Spread my wings, take off, it's time to fly. I won't be afraid to challenge myself. It almost feels like they forcefully oh dragged this guy into the recording studio to sing this cheesy <laughs> song. Okay, I had to add this after finishing the script, but I just watched episode 92 of Zexel, and then there's this girl named Scarlet who sings Take a Chance, and she sounds so good. She doesn't sound like she was forced to record this song. She sounds like she enjoys it. But anyways, moving on. The instrumentals. They are fine. It's trying to express the upbeat believe in yourself energy, but because of the melody and the vocals, it just clashes with one another. They don't work with each other. They work against each other, if it makes sense. Making this song sound very messy. I will admit, it had consistency, and the build-up to the chorus was good, but then that- the, the chorus- the melody of the chorus- Nothing will bring me down 
plays, and it's- it just throws the build-up in the bin. It's like the song knew that the upbeat believe in yourself hype feeling they were going for did not go so well, so the song just gave yeah. up and switched the upbeat tone. Yes, I know Hyperdrive did this as well, but they managed to do it in a way that felt natural, like it belonged in the song. But Take a Chance made the switch feel random and anticlimactic, and the vocals did not help the chorus whatsoever. What kind of anticlimactic is that? Anticlimactic. Wow, talk about a bummer. Chorus. But yeah, nah, I, I, this song just doesn't work together. I'm putting this in the trash tier. It had some potential, but that course, it just ruined everything for me. It was supposed to give, but it did not give what needed to be gave to the highest of giving. I will say this song sounds better when you listen to the covers. So yeah, I'd recommend listening to some of the covers. I gotta say, this song was a good step to improve the opening of Sexel. The singer, thank god, doesn't sound dead this time. And he actually brings back the energy and carries the song to the best of their abilities. I'm a little sad they toned down the instrumentals and stuck with the regular instruments you'd hear in the rock genre, compared to Take a Chance where they added, like, different sounds besides rock. But I'd rather take something more simple than whatever Take a Chance did any day. The verse and the pre-chorus were okay. I think the chorus is empty, and despite how much Zexel has improved, I can't vibe with their music. Like, I don't know, there's something about Zexel that I just can't vibe with. So overall, the song is a meh, meh for me, but at least it's better than Take a Chance. I was really hoping that Arc 5 would go the jazz route. Oh well. Instead of getting the first jazz opening, we got the first opening that incorporates rap, which is pretty interesting. Then I listened to the opening and yeah, it wasn't my cup of tea. Usually when I listen to songs where the verses are mostly rap, they could either be a hit or a miss for me from time to time. Unless you're this guy. But the opening missed the mark for me and I ranked it pretty low back then. Probably the same level as Halfway to Forever. But over time, it was growing on me? What a twist! And eventually, well, um. Hey! Hey! Skr so, yeah, I like this song. <laughs> well, that was a 180 I did not expect. It's very catchy, and it's a big vibe for me. Like, you could play this in the club or the bar, and I wouldn't hesitate to dance. Not even the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse dance. That's how much I'm feeling the vibes. Especially that chorus. I also like how they build up the harmony of the chorus so it doesn't sound boring every time you hear it. The rap verse, as I said before, I did not like it at first, but somehow it just grew on me, and I like it now. The only thing I don't like right now compared to everything else is the pre-chorus. It's meh. So overall, I'm putting it in the great job tier. It's really a big vibe, this song. Absolutely. A lot of people don't like this opening. I don't really think it's that bad, but I will say the editing of the opening was... <sighs> eh. Especially when they put that technology sound effect in the intro. Yeah, it really did not give the song justice. Also, this was the opening that broke the tradition of making the upbeat cheesy songs for the anime. They went for a more dark, intense, experimental route for this opening, and I think that's okay, and it sort of makes sense. I heard that this anime is pretty dark and edgy, so it makes sense that this dark vibe would be part of the opening, so you'll know what you're in for. The thing is, I don't really get why they decided not to make a song with lyrics. Maybe it's a personal preference? Or maybe they were afraid that the lyrics would sound ridiculously edgy. <laughs> like seriously, what is that line? Anyways, onto the song. The intro, I know it doesn't sound really like it, but 
It reminds me of Rick and Morty for some reason. <laughs> Then we get the rest of the song, which reminds me so much of the electric suite from Amazing Spider-Man 2. This song tries to play around with electronic and orchestral sounds, and I think they work together pretty well. Also, they brought back the brass instrument! Yes! They also have the choir as well! But now, for the chorus, or, or the movement, I don't know what to call it. But for me, it sounded way too much. I'd expect this to be the final chorus, but because of the way the song was built up, it seems like it was leaning towards the first chorus, then the final chorus. But I'll give them the benefit of the doubt since they have to make the song like one minute long. The only thing I didn't really like was the ringing sound. It really annoyed me. Overall, it's a good song, but as an opening, well, I think this song would have been better off as a boss theme or trailer music compared to using it for the opening, but overall, this opening is good enough for me. This opening seems familiar to me, like, familiar in a way that it reminds me of those soundtracks from those awful spa games I played as a kid. And I know you guys played those games too, don't lie to me. But yeah, time to talk about the song. The instrumentals were okay. The sound effects they added were distracting, and it didn't match the song in my opinion. And sadly, I couldn't find the official audio for the opening where the sound effects are gone, so yeah, I had to work with them. The guitar section was a little out of place for me. And the melody gets boring pretty quickly. The build-up to the main part of the song was not bad, so was the last section of the song. So overall, I'm going to put the song in the meh tier. It's not bad, but it's not good. Not bad, but not good. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, guys, this is the final ranking. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned because the next video is going to be about... You suck you. So subscribe to let YouTube notify you when I post that video. Thanks so much, guys, and have a great day. Magic for the Dark Magician. Ooh.